I'm trying to think of a good analogy for how tense and awkward this episode is. The Cuban Missile Crisis. Yeah, that's about right. Keystone Motel starts right where Cry for Help left off. With Pearl and Garnet not speaking. You mean with Garnet not speaking to Pearl? Yeah, pretty much. But then the amazing Greg Universe shows up to take Steven on a business trip to the state of Keystone. Better known as Pennsylvania. Um, sure. Garnet decides to tag along as well. Then after they arrive, it becomes clear that there's trouble in paradise. As Ruby and Sapphire split up. And only after putting Steven through an emotional gauntlet are they able to recombine and start to forgive Pearl. Keystone Motel is kind of like the opposite of its pair, Cry for Help. In that, it's kind of awkward to start off with, but it has a nice conclusion. It's also the first time we've spent any extended period with Garnet's constituent parts, Ruby and Sapphire. And Ruby is indeed the spunky, hot-headed firebrand, while Sapphire is the cool, wise, mellow one. As well as the source of Garnet's future predicting powers. It's interesting to see where Garnet's personality traits and powers come from. Alright, now let's talk comedy. Greg Universe is yet again comedy MVP, with his trademark self-aware humor and commentary on the situation. Also, Ruby gets in a few fairly funny lines relating to Berserker Fury, but the ending is easily the best part. Once Garnet is back together and sort of talking to Pearl again. Anything to preserve your precious status quo, right, Private? Exactly. But the emotional ups and downs of relationships have never been the kind of stories I'm particularly interested in. Especially when they're not paired with world building or big visual set pieces. Neither of which are present in Keystone Motel. So unless you're particularly interested in the nitty gritty details of Ruby and Sapphire, all this episode really has is an acceptable resolution to cry for help and the comedy stylings of Greg Universe. So I give Keystone Motel a very borderline recommendation. Now be sure and come back tomorrow for my review of Onion Friend. And if you're interested in reviews of anime, movies, TV shows, comic books, or video games, check out my channel on YouTube at StupidPrivate913, or find my Facebook and DeviantArt pages for video updates and more. Thank you for watching. Hey kids, today's show is brought to you by the letter 4 and the number potato! I'm a stupid private.